Okay, so you want to get you one of these cheaper batteries, but your quadcopter doesn't have a T connection on it. Well, I'm just going to show you how to swap the T connection out for an XT60 connection, which seems to be what most people have these days when it comes to flying quadcopters. It's 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 come to be the uh, more popular of the connections. I still know some people who fly with the T connection. But really not that many. What you're going to need is some heat shrink, colored heat shrink, your XT60, uh, some solder, and then uh, if you have something to help hold it, you know, definitely get you one of those, and something to clip the wires with. So we're going to go ahead and start this video out. It's, it's very, very easy to do, so it's not going to take very long. Uh, to do this. Let me get this helping hands. Okay, first of all, the first, the biggest thing that you don't want to do is uh, cut both the wires at one time. What you can do, and this makes it uh, easier for some, harder for some, what you can do is take off the heat shrink that's already on here. Some people do this. There we go. And one at a time, just expose the end there. Uh, and then put it on here because this, uh, this already has some solder on it, so it kind of like saves you a step. The problem with that sometimes is the solder that's, that's already on here is so thick that it takes a long time to get it off. So if you put the solder on and flux and stuff yourself, all it takes is you cutting it and then putting it on and then uh, you're adding less heat because the biggest thing with this is you don't want to put too much heat this isn't like a PDB board on a drone where you can just pile heat onto it and heat onto it uh, these LiPo batteries have a charge and you can mess them up that way uh, so you can cut it or you can remove the heat shrink already on it uh, since this one already has kind of a shorter uh, wire. I don't want to make the wire any shorter. That's that's kind of what it comes down to too. Do you want to make the wire shorter uh, than what it is? That's that's one thing to consider. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do this uh, this way. But I will tell you guys, if you do decide to cut them, do not take scissors and cut them both at the same time. Init essentially, you're creating a current with um, a connection like a bridge between the two and you'll mess your battery up, you'll short it out. So I'm just gonna oh make sure that you put some solder on here. Get it started and then add the solder to this. break a little. I'm going to take the heat off because I'm, I'm filling the wire right now and I don't want to get too much heat to the battery and the heat only got to about here. So this is also hard to do with one hand. Also don't take uh, don't take both of these Heat shrinks off together and leave two exposed wires because uh, then you have a chance of them kind of hitting each other. You're going to want to do this one at a time because the thing about it is your connector here keeps them spaced out. So when you look inside, those two don't touch each other. So if you put you know, one on one and then one on the other, then you're never having these two wires touch each other, and that's a that's a good thing. So, I'd put both connections together like that. If you have two, if you don't, you don't you know you don't have to. But it's a real good idea to do that and just kind of hang this on here. Now this XT60 has this little cradle right here. And I'm going to be using that 
to my advantage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the solder inside there. Then I'm going to get that solder. Then I'm going to get that solder liquefied, and I'm going to set the wire basically into it. So, if you're cutting the wire, then you do what you do to, to uh, any regular wire. You want to you want to snip it. Uh, take the take the heat shrink here off. Uh, use some flux so you can be faster and then uh, pre-tin the wire. So what I'm going to do is that is the rounded part is the negative and the solid part is the positive. So this right here you set it on there and then you put your solder on. Now you want to make sure that you don't leave this heat on too long either because this uh, XT60 connector actually heats up really really quick you can feel it and it starts to melt the the uh, it starts to melt the, the plastic so So we've got our wire, it's tinned, battery, let that one on because we're doing one at a time. And I got the solder on the XT60. I'll put the heat shrink just as, well I don't need that much. Just a little bit of solder on top of that. Just for strength. And then let the heat shrink up while it's still hot. I like to do this, some people don't. But. There we go. We got one connected on there. Do this next one. With it. There we go. I'm not using that again, so I'm not worried about fucking it up. Oh, my heat was down. That's why it wouldn't work. So melted it a little. Okay, now I got this. This, this way so you can see it. It's going to go right in that cradle there. So, and so, right, I'm going to add some solder to that. There we go. There we go. That's better. I'll just add some of this on top of it. Basically, did the same thing. So it's the 
this video is basically all about uh, showing that you can do it. Don't add too much heat. Want do one at a time. Basically, is all it is. Make sure that uh, you cut one. Put the heat shrink down at the bottom down here. Furthest away because this whole wire gets hot. Put the first one on. Start with the negative or the positive, whichever one you want to. Just do one at a time. Don't cut them both at the same time. Don't cut one and then the other so you got two wires flopping around just in case so they don't hit each other and short out or anything like that. Uh, one at a time. Put the heat shrink down. Um, turn the heat up on this so it's faster because you want to get less heat to your battery. So uh, I think the heat only made it to about here on the wire both times when I was doing it. And I got a pretty pretty solid hold. So that's going to be in there for a while. Uh, just basically showing that you can do it, that it can, it can be done, you can switch the things out. Or what you can do is if you got battery size heat shrink that will go around here, is you can take this heat shrink off. Uh, this right around here, it goes all the way around, around the top. Uh, you can just peel that back, that's real easy to take off. And then it exposes your positive is soldered here, your negative is soldered there. And you can pre-make the wire, so you don't have to worry about any of that. And then you still have to hurry up and get these taken off, wait till it cools down, and then one at a time put them on that way. So there's two different ways that you can you can change out the uh, the connector pieces for uh, any of these batteries that only come with like the T connections or any of the other connections uh, that come with it. You know, it's just you know. Anyways, I'm Bryce with Michael RC. Hopefully this has been helpful. Um, I know that I've talked to some people and they've told me, yeah, I can't get those batteries because I don't have that type of a connection. Uh, and I said, well, you can change the connection. And they said, well, you know, it kind of freaks me out. Uh, I'm making this video because I know how to do it, to show you that you can do it. And I want to tell you guys one more thing. This is the first time I've ever done it. So complete confidence in myself. That's how easy it is to do. The, I mean, the first time I did it, just bam, 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 got it done. Uh, so you can do it too. You know, it's 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 that simple. Just have just have confidence in yourself that you can get it done. You can get it done fast enough. Uh, if you hold the heat on for too long, you know, just take it off. Take your time with it. Uh, make sure that you're not crossing leads or anything like that. Just take your time, and then uh, eventually you'll get it. You'll get it all together. Everything. So that's not puffing out. Another thing too. This is a 100% full battery. So, you don't have to drain the battery down or anything like that. It's probably more safe if you do. If you wait till the, uh, you know, if you go out and fly and get the battery down to basically nothing and then, then you do it, then it's probably a lot safer. Uh, that Ishing VR007 headset giveaway uh, update video for that is coming very, very soon. Uh, that's going to be given away within the next, I think, the next week, actually. I have this coming weekend off, so you'll know uh, this weekend. Cool? Yeah, I'm either going to be giving it away this weekend, or I was debating on this whole the whole next week, not this week, but next week, we're going to be doing all the promotional, promotional stuff for the uh, show that we're playing April the 22nd with Billy Carrington and Chris, J Chris Jansen at the Lawrence Dumont Stadium. We're going to be doing all the promotional stuff for that. And I was debating on doing the giveaway in the middle of the promotional stuff for that because I'm already going to be in the middle of promotional stuff. So it's, it would be easier on me. So I'm debating that. But I might just go ahead and, and do the drawing this, this coming weekend and all that different stuff. So if you guys have been waiting on that, then that's, that's where I am at on that. I've got several videos to upload. I've taken so many videos over the past few days. I've just been, like I said before, I've been super busy. I've gotten so much better at flying. I've learned S turns. Uh, I've been proximity flying. All sorts of stuff. I've gotten so much better. Like I told you guys, I was planning on getting good by April the 22nd by the show. And I think I'm going to reach that goal. Okay. I think these are cooled down enough. So, 
I wouldn't advise this. A lot of people say not to use a lighter, but that's all I got at the moment. Uh, well, for this heat shrink anyways. I got some real cheap, cruddy heat shrink that uh, it doesn't shrink too well with It doesn't shrink well with a uh, with a blow dryer. My other heat shrink that I had with a blow dryer, blow dryer would get it tight as fuck. I mean, would just shrink it all the way down. You just keep it on there. This only with a blow dryer, it only gets to a point, but it's still pretty pretty damn loose. The only way to get it tight, real tight, is by using a lighter, an open flame. So that's what I gotta do. Alright. And that's good. So I'm gonna upload this. Well, I'm gonna edit this. I'm gonna upload it. And then uh, I'm gonna start uploading the other videos throughout the week. So while I'm uploading it, just don't think that they were done that day because most of these videos were done last week. I've just got a ton to upload. So, uh, and I'm gonna be making more videos throughout the week. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Y'all have a good one. Da -da -da, da -da -da.